from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. A chilly starts your morning. Jason Adams will let you know when it's going to warm up. I'm Vanessa Ariza. Let's first get a look at your ABC Action News headlines. Hillsborough County deputies need your help finding a driver who's accused of hitting and killing a five year old. This is the vehicle investigators are calling a vehicle of interest. It was in the area at the time of the incident. This is a light colored sedan. Authorities say the child and their mother were walking along Rogers Road when they were hit. That child died at the hospital. Their mother is expected to survive. If you have any information about this case, go ahead and give the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office a call. Well, there are now 173 people in Florida under observation for the coronavirus. The Florida Department of Health says 15 of those people tested negative, but five others are still waiting for their results. There are now three locations in Florida where you can get tested. They are the Tampa, Miami and Jacksonville Health Departments. CDC is allowing states to do their own virus testing. Well, if you're looking to get outside today, you can head on over to the Gasparilla Festival of Arts. More than 250 artists will be showing off their work all for you to buy. The annual event is now in a new and bigger location. It's taking place at the Julian B. Lane Riverfront Park. The festival is celebrating its 50th year. It runs from 10 o'clock in the morning until 5 this afternoon. Let's head on over to meteorologist Jason Adams to see how your work week's going to look. And it's going to be a cool one for you to start the morning hours, but gradually we're going to build temperatures back up into the lower 70s today. So I expect to see highs between 70 and 74 degrees. And this is just the start of a warming trend again after we get through the cool morning temperatures that were to the 30s and 40s when you're waking up. Low to mid 70s today, mid to upper 70s tomorrow. Lots of sunshine expected. And then guess what? We're back into the low 80s by Tuesday. We'll be there for a couple of days before our next front shows up as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. Vanessa. Jason, thank you. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Just make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there. Have a good one.